Hi everyone, my name is Mae Park. Welcome to another Hero Arts video. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own watercolor pattern with bold brush strokes. I'll be using the hipster animal stamp set featuring trendy animals and stylish accessories. I tested out a few designs and this card is one of them. I created a stamp background using various images from the set and mounted the watercolor animals on the card front. I'm starting out by cutting down my Archie's cold pressed watercolor paper into slightly larger than standard A2 card size using Timor's paper trimmer. I'm taping down my watercolor paper onto the chipboard paper using painter's tape. This will keep my paper from warping as I watercolor. To create my watercolor background, I'll use Mizello Mission Gold watercolor set. I'm gonna wet my entire watercolor paper with my paintbrush before bringing some color. I'm gonna use the wet in wet watercolor painting technique to create a smooth, blurry blend of paints for my first layer of watercolors. I'm simply wetting my paintbrush with water and paint and moving the paintbrush across the paper. This is best done with a large paintbrush, and here I am using a round paintbrush size 20. For the second layer, I'll be adding more pigment for darker hue. I'm gonna use my heat tool to let the paint dry each time before I add more brush strokes. It helps prevent my paint spreading outward and leave brush strokes when it dries. Now I'm gonna turn on some music and speed up the process. I'll be back once I'm done with my watercolor pattern. with my heat tool to make sure that everything is dry before I move on. I'm peeling up the painter's tape and removing this from the chipboard paper. I pull out the stitched rectangle frame die and secure it on my watercolor piece using washi tape. Then I'll be running it through my colorbook die machine. It's now time to do some stamping. I already stamped a few images to figure out which works best for the focal point of my card. I'm gonna stamp the dog image on a piece of white cardstock using black ink. Then I'm adding a hat and glasses to dress up my dog. In case I make a mistake, I'm stamping two times for each image. Here I'm fixing my stamped image with black pen. Before I move on to the next step, I wanna show you how I clean my stamps. Once I'm done stamping, I clean my stamps with baby wipes or an absorber towel. Then I spray some Herewarts Ultra Clean or water on the Herewarts scrubber pad to dampen the bottom of the pad. Then I simply rub my stamps on the wet pad and then I dry my stamps on the top pad. I am fussy cutting my image with the scissors. Here I have white cardstock measured at 4.25 inch by 11 inch and I'll be scoring at 5.5 inch using Martha Stewart mini scoring board and bone folder to make a A2 size top folding card. Then I'm gonna mount my watercolor panel on the card base using double sided tape. Now I'll be working on my sentiment. I'm prepping a piece of black cardstock with Inca Dinkado embossing magic powder bag as I'm gonna heat emboss my sentiment. I'm pulling out sentiment stems from various stamp sets 
and mounting them on an acrylic block and inking up with the first mark watermark ink. I'll apply some white embossing powder and tap off the excess. I'm using my small paintbrush to flick away any stray powder from sticking to unwanted areas. Then I'll heat set the sentiments with my heat tool until they are completely melted. I'm gonna finish off my card by mounting my image and sentiment on the card front using foam tape. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and got some inspiration to create your own card with watercolor pattern. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye bye! Mm -hmm.